Hello ladies, this is Jules. This is my paper posy that I completed and I finished um, to decorate my craft room. It is made of coffee filters that I've tea dyed and used um, tea and food coloring together for the pink spots. Um, I don't, I didn't measure it, I think it's about, I want to say like 10, 10, 11 inches diameter. And, um, let me see if I can kind of twirl it a little bit. <laughs> I can't reach it. So, what I want to do today is, um, I want to do the tutorial on how I made it. Um, I got the idea out of my Somerset magazine, and, um, I just love it. I'm going to show you how to do that now. And, uh, so stay tuned. This is the inspiration for my doing this paper posy ball. Um, I, of course, have mentioned several, several times about my Somerset um, addiction. <laughs> um, in the Somerset Life uh, magazine that is uh, winter 2010, uh, January of March 2010, um, I came across this. <coughs> now, there's a bunch of things in here that I want to do, but this is one of the things that keep coming to mind. So this is a paper posy. Um, or what's called here a pomander ball by a lady by the name of Alice Wing Wingerden. And um, she gives you all the information in here that I'm going to give you too, but I'm giving her credit because this is, um, this is her project in Somerset Magazine. It is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous looking adornment for your, you know, your room or a party or whatever. Um, so I want to do the same kind of colors that she used. Um, some of her tea dyed colors, um, on some of them are a little more yellow than the others. I want to take my pink ones a little bit darker. Um, now in the picture here, she has the pink ones laying out on um, foil. I lay mine down on red on a red towel, um, and I do let it sit overnight. So this will be a, a process here. So I'm just going to show you really quick. Um, now. Um, what you're going to need is, now in the magazine, she's using a, she's mentioning an 8 to 10 inch styrofoam ball. I grabbed a 6 inch because it looked big enough. And this is one of the um, bills that I put together. And this is just in a, um, one of the tea dyed ones that I have. And I just wanted to try to see if I can get it to do what it's supposed to do, which looks like it did. It's going to work for me. So. Okay, you'll need your coffee filters. I grabbed a couple stacks, and I've already had some sitting out, so, um, like, done up, folded and stapled and stuff. You're going to need a box of corsage pins. Um, she says to use um, the, the little pearl uh, pin head ones, and so that's what I'm going to do is use the pearl ones, because, too, I like the way they look, and they're two inches long, so um, I think it's going to be a good one. Um, to be to like to dig deep into your styrofoam ball. I'm gonna end up using fabric tap. I'm not gonna use hot glue because your hot glue um, will melt your styrofoam ball. If you guys didn't know that, it will melt it and you'll ruin your project. So I'm gonna be using fabric tap, which um, I think I'm gonna. I already turned it in, turned it upside down because it needs to drain. So this is what the fabric tap looks like. It's a permanent adhesive, and I'll show you how to use it once you're putting the dry filters and dyed filters onto your styrofoam ball. So, okay, so you'll need a box of those. You'll need a stapler, whichever one. A big one, little one, doesn't matter. You'll need some Lipton. Cheapest um, tea bags out there is the Lipton um, Brisk Tea. And so I am using about three cups of boiling water to um, uh, eight bags of tea bags. And um, I boil my water because I want to cook all the tea out of the bag. So it's extremely hot when you first do it. Just let it cool down so that you can handle it. And then you're going to need some of your food color dyes, uh, food color egg dye. I use the McCormick assorted one. And there is the green, yellow, blue, and red. And I'm going to use the red one because obviously I want to make the pink one. Um, so let's get started here. I'm going to start. I'm going to show you how to do one of each, and then we'll let them all dry, and then we'll put them together. Okay. So what you want to do is grab.
two filters. Now, in her instructions, it says to get several, like four. I don't want to use four. I want to use two because I don't think it needs to be that full. Um, and I'm going to be stapling them and trying to put the coarse arch pin through the bottom. And with too many layers, it's going to be so hard. And I don't want to do anything like using my paper punch. So um, I grabbed two and fold it in half. And then about fingers width and find your center like right here. And then you start just folding in a fan. Oops. Fold it like a fan, back and forth, back and forth. Doesn't have to be exactly even, as you can see there. It doesn't matter. I bring my filter all the way down into the staple stapler until the ends of the the where the staples come out of meets the end of the paper. I don't want to do it way at the tip. Okay, so it looks like it meets like right there, and staple it. And it's just um, oh, let's say it's an inch away. Okay, so I have two of them ready. I'm going to get my, my ball over. I'm going to grab my tea, get it mixed in the bowls, and then you'll see how I, I dye it and set it up. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. Um, my tea water is about, yeah, it's, it's hand, it, you, I can handle it now. It's not super um, boiling hot anymore. I, I like to squeeze out whatever I can to give it, to get the most maximum concentration of tea as possible. Okay. This here is my uh, Pyrex. It's, it measures out one cup. Okay. I just go halfway. Okay. That is one, a half of a measured cup. And then two drops of the red dye. One, two. So now I'm going to mix this up because I need to get... Need to, you need to mi mix it really well. And I mean, and if you don't, you'll probably just get a really big blotch spot that's red. And that's up to you. Um, it's supposed to look distressy and all that. So, okay. So I have my two fans. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to have my towel. Normally I do this in the kitchen. And I grab one of my big red towels. And then let it sit overnight in there with the window open. And it dries for So basically... All I do is grab grab this and I just set it in the water, let it suck it up. Same thing with this one. This is a regular tea. Set it in the water, let it suck up all the way. And you can kind of see it doing it. It's like absorbing it like a wick. So what I do is I do turn it upside down until it starts to drip down from the bottom. Kind of hang, hold it for a little bit then I know that it's pretty much saturated throughout the entire thing. And then I do open it up a little bit. Um, just enough where um, the air can get to it and it doesn't take as long to dry. But it does need about 24 hours, so I leave it fanned like that. See that? And you can see the difference in color pretty quickly. The dye works really well. Okay. And you can see the difference here in the pink. One's pink and one is nice tea dyed. I will do the red ones double dipped because I do want them a little bit darker like I was mentioning earlier. I'm going to do the rest of them and then I'll put them together on the bowl when they are dry. So I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Okay, you guys, so now all of my um, posy balls are done. Um, 
I have my basket, <laughs> my tin basket full. They're dry, and I've opened them all up, and so I have one side with my tea dyed, and the other one has my pink, my pink ones. See? And I left some um, without fluffing them out because I wanted to show you how to do that real quick. I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, like you can see the see the the, the redness that stains um, the filter. I think that's so cool. And what I do is because I just did two layers of it. Now it's been more than two days, just so you guys know. Oh my gosh, um, I had so much stuff going on, and I've had these sitting on my desk for days. So, um, but you you guys would not know that at all because you guys you know are watching it straight through. <laughs> Anyways, um. So I'm just opening them up. I'm just careful not to tear them. I'm separating it completely. And again, there's only two layers of the filter. And there's my nib here. So that what I... Well, actually, what I was doing with some other ones is just um, grabbing it and twisting it and grabbing another end and twisting it and trying to make them kind of like... I don't know, just give it a, a different look, like, like florals, like, well, flowery, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So then they look like that. And I kind of just do that to it. And, um, do the pen. I hope you guys try this, though, because it's so pretty. I mean, I, oh God, I love it. Okay. So, there's the paper posy. Okay, so we're going to start putting it on the bowl now. They are two inches long, if I remember right. Yep, two inches long. And it said in the book to pierce through it, but I'm not going to pierce through every layer, so I'm just going to open it up to make the layer a little bit more comfortable for me. Ah, my staple came out. Crap. It's okay. No big deal. You know what? You can add glue in there, like hot glue or something, on the filter, but no hot glue on your ball because it will melt it. And then you just take your, um, actually I can probably press through a few of these layers here. Careful not to stab yourself. There we are. And I didn't even poke myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Fabri-Tac right there and then stick it on the ball. And it'll stick in there like this. Like that. So get my fabric tack here. It's been upside down for a few days. And this is just easier to for it to just adhere um really well and it won't come out won't come loose at all. So nice big glob. My um okay. No, no real science to it. Just stab the ball, stick it in there, and then the glue will just start to dry on there. Okay, and it'll stick up. And then you just kind of you alternate it. So I'm gonna start and put another one right behind it, and I'm just kind of help push this over because it's tipped. See that? Okay, so I'll be back when I get some more rounds. So you want to alternate and do like your one color and then another color. I'm going to go all the way around and then I'm going to go like in this, like a circular all the way around that way and then across it and then fill in. Okay, 